Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to talk about the top 5 weapons currently in Modern Warfare after the 1.09 update. Obviously the SCAR got a little bit of a buff and a nerf as well as the AUG getting a little bit of buff all around. We'll kind of see how that all pans out. I don't really think that affected the top 5 list. If we were really going to do a top 5 list, we'd probably do the M4 number 1, the M4 number 2, the M4, and you kind of get where I'm going with that because that is the most dominant weapon in the game. It's just a little bit too versatile. It's good at long range. It's good at short range. It's good at medium range at pretty much all those ranges better than almost every weapon in the entire game, which makes it a little too good. So I'm going to go through the class setup for each of the top five weapons on my list. And they're not going to be in any particular order. Obviously the M4 would take that number one, like I've already talked about. I am trying something different with this video. So if you prefer the shorter length, make sure you do hit that like button and leave a comment down below. So I know that you like this version over the other, or if you prefer the little bit longer video where I talk a little bit more about the weapons and show off a little bit of gameplay. So right here, the first class setup we'll take a look at is the Kilo class setup. And this is probably my favorite class setup overall in the entire game. I haven't had a chance to go back much to it after I unlock gold, but as you can see, I'm running the Compensator, the Prowler Singard Arms 19.8 inch barrel. Right here is the second one. And then I like a monocle reflex sight, but you can go ahead and switch it to whatever. I'm really uh, getting, becoming a fan of this GI mini sight. And this is the one that the pros use. I typically swap that out with the blue dot sight. I've already grinded out all the reticles. So that's the sight I typically go with. As far as the rest of the class setup, you can see I use this typical grip tape. That's more for the faster ADS and then the commando foregrip. So right here we have the next class setup, which is going to be the M4. And the M4, there's tons of class setups you can actually run with this. This happens to be one of my favorite class setups, but I've already showed off several when I've uh, talked about the pro class setups because pro players pretty much, they only use the M4 and the MP5. And I went ahead and gave you like five or six class setups for that within my pro class setup video that I did last week. So for this class setup, I use the compensator. The Marksman Barrel is gonna be the Corvus Custom. And the reason I like the Corvus Custom over the M16 Barrel is it's kind of a trade-off. You get an extra two and a half meters of distance if you go with the M16 barrel, but you're gonna have one frame slower in ADS time. And I think two and a half meters is really negligible. And on the other end, you could say that the ADS speed is negligible, but overall, I prefer the feel of the Corvus Custom, especially when you're comparing the two. As far as the reflex sight, again, the GI Mini Reflex, the Commando Foregrip, and the Stipple Grip Tape. This tends to be the combination I like to use for most of the rifles is the compensator and the commando foregrip. Sometimes I'll go ahead and go with the monolithic suppressor. This is one that's growing on me as well. The only downside with the monolithic suppressor is kind of a trade-off is you end up not getting that recoil reduction that we're seeing in the other attachment, but you get a little bit of a less muzzle flash. So it makes it a little bit easier to track your targets. And if you've used the monolithic, you know what I'm talking about. Next one up is going to be the PKM because it has the same damage output of the AK, but it has the fire rate of the Kilo, which is just disgusting. The recoil is very manageable. We have the monolithic suppressor on this 26.9 inch extended barrel, as well as the Viper reflex sight. You can really run whatever. I was doing some camo challenges when I was doing that one. So I go with the commando foregrip, but a good alternative is the Merc foregrip. Lastly, I like to go with that stipple grip because this one doesn't really have a recoil problem. I find that using the faster ADS attachments will allow you to zoom in a little bit faster. You can kind of treat it like a rifle. Obviously, you won't get it as fast as an SMG, but you will be able to take advantage of the faster speed that you get with this particular attachment. If you want to go ahead and stick with the iron sight, you can go ahead and drop this and then maybe give you another attachment, maybe extended mags. Um, even though this will slow you down, you don't really need it. The reload speed is pretty good. But if you wanted to, you could also go ahead and put in sleight of hand so you can reload faster. Or you can actually go with the, one of these stocks. So with movement speed, ADS speed, just drop the stock completely. And you'll be able to be a little bit more mobile and still accurate. Because again, the gun doesn't have a lot of side-to-side -side recoil. Mainly vertical, which is pretty easy to control. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the next class setup. So the fourth one on my list is the AK-47. I think the SCAR is kind of edging in there. So is the Odin. The FAMAS on the right map, sort of the FR-556, is going to go ahead and edge in there. But this one overall, I think, is probably a top two or three rifle. It can beat out the M4 in certain scenarios. You're able to land those headshots. But some things that are a little bit of drawback is the ease of use. It's a little bit harder to manage that recoil for the average player. And the slower rate of fire makes it a little bit less forgiving. 
at the hip fire. The class setup I like is again the monolithic suppressor, the 23 inch RPK barrel, the commando foregrip, the stipple grip tape, and then you can see here is the GI mini reflex. If I was playing on a smaller map like shoot house, I'd probably drop this and go ahead and add ammo. Maybe I'd run with the 40 or even the 75 drum mag, even though that's going to slow you down quite a bit. Um, just because at those further ranges, it gets a little bit trickier to hit targets without an optic. And then we have the last one, which is going to be the MP5. The best class setup for the MP5 is going to be the monolithic integral suppressor. We also have the FTAC collapsible, simple grip tape, the 10 millimeter auto 30 round mag. You could go with the 45 round, but the 10 millimeter is just a little bit more powerful, especially at some of those shorter ranges. You can actually get a two shot kill if you go with this weapon because the headshot multiplier bumps up the damage up to 51. If you land two headshots, you can kill someone in two bullets at up to about 10 meters. Um, then we also have the commando foregrip so we can handle that recoil. And that's pretty much how this class setups go. Please do me a favor hitting that like button. If you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing for Call of Duty news, tips and tricks, and best class setups. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Appreciate the support. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.